I would say, without a doubt, it was the greatest achievement in the history of lying. To be honest, I inherited a mess. It's a mess. He is, quite simply, the Babe Ruth of <laughs> Obamacare covers very few people. Donald Trump makes Tricky Dick look like Honest Abe. I never met Putin. I don't know who Putin is. He said one nice thing about me. He said I'm a genius. He is the greatest liar of all time. C-SPAN presents Pants of Fire, the road to 2,000 lies. I'm Donald John Trump. Do solemnly swear. That January 20th, 2017. Donald Trump Don't puts his me, hand on the Bible me, and begins a historic journey to 2,000 lies. God looked down and he said, we're not going to let it rain on your speech. And Trump comes roaring out of the gate. He lies about the rain, the crowds, <laughs> his Time magazine covers, his victory margin. I guess it was the biggest electoral college win since Ronald Reagan. And this is week one. I said he cannot sustain this pace. But Trump was just getting started. By March, he had amassed four times as many lies as any president had in two terms. You look at what's happening last night in Sweden. 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 That was a classic. <laughs> Only Trump could have lied that lie. You know, the Cuban Americans, I got 84% of that vote. So many great lies. I mean, Obama's wiretap. You saw what happened with surveillance. But you stand by that claim about him? I don't stand by anything. I just, uh, you can take it the way you want. He even <laughs> lied about lying. I think one of the greatest of all terms I've, I've come up with is fake. I guess other people have used it perhaps over the years, but I've never noticed it. And then there was Twitter. Game changer. Twitter proved to be a critical platform as Trump continued past 750 lies, finally hitting 1,000 lies in August of his first year. We've signed more bills, and I'm talking about through the legislature, than any president ever. For a while, Harry Truman had us. His PolitiFact numbers were off the charts. <laughs> this was unheard of. At that point, I think he knew it was in the bag, but he didn't let up. If anything, he doubled down. He said he interviewed me for three hours in the White House. It didn't exist, okay? It's in his imagination. After a long, arduous road, Trump achieved the impossible, his 2,000th lie in office. We can build the wall in one year, yes, sir. and we can build it for much less money than what they're talking about. What can you compare it to? Michael Phelps in 08? Roger Bannister running the four-minute mile, a young Tiger Woods, it's unfathomable. He's got three more years, or maybe even seven, or maybe six months. Who the hell knows? President Trump's miraculous milestone in mendacity seems destined to stand the test of time. Bing, 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 bing. But even if it should fall to some future president, his place in the fake history books is forever secure. Thanks to his total lack of shame, unlimited capacity for b and his pants of fire. The American dream is dead.